Welcome to Outlook 2010 Email Views. I'm Trainer Lori. What are email views? Well, our goal is to go beyond just open and preview and take the default. Instead, what we want to do is learn to change the views and learn to save them, especially if you've get, ever gotten an error message and they said you have to reset your view, uh, you, we can start all over again. We'll, and we'll also show you conditional formatting. The first thing that is a great tip that a lot of people don't know is to simply right click on email and you can open it in a new window. So uh, you don't have to have uh, the calendar or email, you can have both. We're going to go from the Home tab to the View tab. The first thing we want to look at is the reading pane. A lot of people uh, like it certain ways. For example, I'm a, a right person. I like it on the right, but you can also turn it off if you want. Uh, so that you do have that option. And under options, you have the option to choose how many, um, uh, how much appears. Under the navigation pane, I, this is the normal view. Uh, we can see on the right side or the left side over here. You see the uh, navigation pane is on. And I like favorites up there at the top, and then I could just put the ones that I use all the time right up at the top. You can all turn that off here. You can also choose to have it minimized or off completely. Yikes! <laughs> and you can choose to have options. Uh, for example, you can say, well, I, I don't want to see contacts, but I would like to see the journal. So you can choose what you want to see in the order that you see it. This is also available at the very bottom of the navigation pane. You'll see the, the drop down arrow there and one of the options is navigation pane options. So you have a couple of ways to access this. The to-do bar is on the right and if you have a lot of things on your to-do list and you like to keep track of it, this is a good thing to see. I don't, so I like to minimize it and that just reminds me of my um, upcoming events, but that's about it. You also have options. Now this is the real powerful one, okay? This is under Change Views. There's actually three tools here, Change View, View Settings, and Reset View under Current View. So when we click on Change View, you have three options there as well. Compact, and you can see this is compact. I have two lines showing. You can change that if you want, if you want more than two lines showing. Single, where it only shows one line. So if you have lots and lots of emails and you just want a really top line, um, a snapshot of it. Now when you do the single, notice that instead of right-clicking to arrange by and uh, have your sort options, uh, they become little icons. And so you can just click one of the icons. So this is one of those real quick ways to access what you want to see. And then you also have the preview option. And notice that my compact option has color coding and my preview option does not. When you choose a view, that's when you decide if it's going to be. In this case, um, I use conditional formatting, and so it's for the view. And you can have as many views as you want. If you want more views, you can have your own personalized view. To create a new view, you can go under Manage Views and click New. Give it a name, and you choose what style you want. Mostly people like to copy the view they have and just make some changes to it. And so uh, I highly recommend that you, if you have a specific view that you want, for example, you want your compact view to look a certain way, then you would copy that just in case. Because if, if it's going to crash, it's the uh, original compact view that's going to crash. And if you want to be able to back it up again, you would have to make a copy of it. So it, it's a very good idea to make a copy of a view if you want to change any of the views. Then you can also save your current view as a new view. So if you go ahead and make all your changes in the current view, and then you just click Save It, and it will uh, create an, a name for it. Remember, if you're having issues, the first thing that you will be asked to do is to reset the view. And if you had all these great things that you wanted in your compact view, for example, then you must reset it. But if you have a copy of it ready to go, then you can uh, just bring that back up into your, your normal current view again. So how do we make changes? What would that look like? Well, let's go into the view settings and see. When you click on view settings, you'll see all these different options down here. And I'm going to show you the two most important first, and then I'll show you all the others so you can see what they can do. And the first one is columns. What columns do I want to show in my view? So you can scroll down and find all the, the ones that are frequently used. You can also create a new column. 
So if there's not one in there that's anything like what you want, you can create it. And you could even choose the type and format. And so now, in my columns, you can see the normal columns and this new one that I added called Dog Lover. So uh, if that's something that you want to do, you can add your own. Of course, if you decide, you know, I really don't want this, you can simply right-click on it and remove it. So it's really easy to uh, change them around, move them. Conditional formatting really helps you identify what's important. You can see here that uh, Sarah's email is in red, so that means it's important. I can see it very, very clearly. It also has categories, but the, the fact that the text is red is conditional formatting. We'll find that under the conditional formatting tab. And you can choose, uh, first you can add a new one, give it a name, and uh, then you can choose the font that you want for it to look like, and then this spe special condition. For example, uh, anything that's from Sarah, or where I'm the only person in the two line. You can also go into more choices and see, uh, for example, categories. If I already have a category set, then I can just use the category as well, and that makes it a lot easier. Now some other options that we have include group by, and you can see options in there. The next one is sort, so you can uh, have it pre-sorted for you. Filter, so you're just looking at, especially if you get hundreds of emails a day, that uh, you can filter, so you just find the ones from your boss or from a, an important client. And other settings. format columns, so you can change it. That's all for this time. See you next time. Thank you.